It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make these amazing Easter basket chocolate apples. Now for all the supplies for this project, I will leave in the description box below this video. So be sure to check there. Starting off with my Granny Smith apples, you can use whatever apples of your choice. They do not need to be stripped from the wax. Just make sure you clean them really good and dry them completely before inserting your sticks. So you're going to need some apple sticks, some paper straws, decorated straws to go along with your Easter theme. So you're going to need a bow silicone mold and I'm going to use this particular bow for our project. You're going to need a rope silicone mold and I'm going to use the thicker rope from this mold for our rim and you're going to need a scraper of some sort to help pick up your fonded pieces and I'm using Wilton's fonded in the color brown, pink, white and yellow but we're going to color the white. You're going to need a pipe and bag, some two-tone jimmies, lime green and green and I'm using some sugar decorations for our basket and here I have my pre-made um, fonded bowls. Now I'm going to be using some almond bark for our apples. So starting off, you want to get your fonded colored and I'm going to use this liquid gel food coloring by Chef Masters um, and to color it, give it a lavender color by adding one little dot. You don't need to add much, but once you add, you just want to mend it, blend it and knead it together so that that color can come all the way through and there are no streaks left into your fondant. Once you have created your color, then you just set it to the side when you're ready to mold um, your um, pieces for your bow. All right, so this particular bow size is what I'm going to be using for our apples. So you want to take a piece of your fondant and you want to knead it a little bit. Knead it well till it's nice and smooth before you apply it to the cavity of this mold. Any extra or excess fondant that's um, hovering over or sticking over the cavity, take your scraper and just glide it right across to take off that extra. Now, if you choose not to use fondant, you can also use colored chocolate as well to create your bows. But I just chose to do the um, fondant and here is the bow created. Now you can do these in all the colors. And again, I'm taking the scraper and just gliding it right across to make sure the extra is cut off and that this bow is nicely made and it's nice and well put together. And I like creating bows. So here are our pieces and you just set these to the side. You can make these a week in advance, early as possible so that they can be nice and firm. Now, inserting our sticks, I'm using a 6.5 by 5.0 apple stick so that these decorated straws can fit over these particular sticks. You want to insert halfway, make sure the stick is upright and that it is fully um, inserted and nice and firm. Once your apples, sticks are and straws are inserted, you want to take some paper towel and wipe around the top of your apple to make sure there's no juice that has came up or sitting on top. Now we're going to set this to the side and we're going to make our chocolate, our chocolate candy melts. This is almond bark. Actually, you want to melt this for one minute or according to what the bag says. Once it's completely melted, we are ready to dip our apples. So you're going to dip, do a rotating turn. Now, once you dip, you want to get off the excess and just shake, shake and scrape the bottom and make sure all of that extra chocolate is off. And then you want to place it onto a parchment paper or a silicone mat. Now when proceeding on to dip your other apples, you want to make sure you shake or mix up your chocolate 
and if you create any bubbles make sure you get a toothpick and pop them as quickly as you can before your chocolate or candy melts harden now after you have dipped all your apples you want to take some of the extra chocolate or candy melts and place them into your piping bag and make you a drizzle bag for your apples now your apples must be completely dry as you see this one here nice and smooth and ready to decorate all right get you an extra sheet of parchment paper you're going to get your drizzle bag and your chocolate and some scissors you want to create a small hole in your drizzle bag and you want to pre-drizzle over into your chocolate and on your parchment paper just to make sure you do not have any big lines or a big blob of chocolate coming out now holding your apple as you see here and you want to follow through from one side to the other side all the way to make sure you get some even lines now you're going to go in a slant formation and that will create like the basket weave look on the front of your apples and once you have done that, set it to the side to dry. All right, now it's time to create the rim of the basket by using the rope mold and some brown fondant. You wanna take your fondant and you wanna knead it until it's nice and smooth before you apply it to the cavity of your mold. Now I'm gonna use a large, the large rope size and that's because I have larger apples. So I recommend if you have smaller apples, go to the next size like a medium size to create the rim but just go according to the size of your apple so that it can look right all right so i'm rolling out a rope like shape um with my find it and this you just go from the inside out rolling it back and forth and then apply it to your mold all right now you can have a rolling pin and you can roll it back and forth but i choose to just press it on into the cavity and then take my scraper and take off the access find it that you see here now you want to make sure that you don't um bring out the extra fondant that's in the cavity and just press it back in to the grooves and just if you have any loose spaces or open spaces take a piece of the find it and just apply it to those spaces and then take your scraper and take off that excess and you'll have a nice thick even rope to apply to your apples now once you have created your rope and it's nice and smooth you want to flip your mold over apply a little pressure onto the surface and just roll back the mold and then you have your rope created to go around your apple. Now you can make enough of these and have them already set. Just don't have them um, setting too long where they're gonna get hard, all right? So I'm just sizing up the apple, see where I wanna place it. You wanna get you a brush, and I just got a little bit of water, and um, you don't want to saturate it, but just add a little bit to the back of the um, rope and then apply it around your apple now I do come a little short but you're just gonna make a little extra piece to apply and fill that part in the back and you see I came down just a little bit so that's fine and creating a little extra piece to fill in that gap is what you're gonna do to make the rope go all the way around to give a full full circle of your um, fondant piece.
Now, after you created your first layer, you want to create a second layer and apply it to the first one so that your basket can be full and tall in size. So after you have applied the second layer and you want to fill in the gap to that layer, you want to make sure that you take your finger or your scraper and pull the lip of the top rim as you see here and just pull it back um, so that it don't bend in or bend over into the apple like it's bending into the basket because you want that to stick straight up so you can apply um, your jimmies as your grass and this is how it looks and this is how it should be and now we can move on to the next step now let's get to the fun part now you're going to take your piping bag and apply chocolate all the way around the top of your apple or the inside of your basket and then you're going to take your jimmies and apply them to the basket as the chocolate is wet and you want to evenly coat it all the way around until you see no more chocolate now when creating the handle of the basket you want to use the rope and you want to pre-make these into a rainbow shape and let them sit for a few hours until hardened and before you add that, you want to start adding in your sugar decorations, whatever you choose to apply to your basket. Um, and I'm adding the eggs and the little chick here that I almost dropped and broke. And just apply it to the basket before adding your handle. Now I size up my handle before I let it sit and it comes out perfectly. So as I'm applying it, I'm just going to add a little bit of chocolate to the corners here and to the back of it. And you want to let that dry. And that is how the handle stays. And I also add a little dab at the top to the back so that it can stick up against the straw. Now I'm going to apply my bow to the side. And this is how I create the little Easter basket chocolate apples. So cute, right? Now, I really love creating these. So I hope you all have fun creating them as much as I did as well. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification bells and make sure you like and leave a comment in the comment section below. And let me know how you enjoyed this video. And as I always say, I'll see you in the next video.